So Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order's PC requirements were posted on Origin by EA, obviously. That is their launcher that they use for their games on PC. I find Origin to be a very painful launcher to operate because it's slow, clunky, sometimes unresponsive, and on the whole, borderline inoperable. But the recommended PC specs for this game were revealed yesterday, and there was one thing that caught everybody's attention. I'm going to show you those requirements now, and I'll let you guess which one it is. Minimum specifications, Intel Core i3-3220, AMD FX 6100 or equivalent, 8GB of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 or AMD Radeon HD 7750 or equivalent, DirectX 11 and 55GB of storage space. Now that's fine, that's reasonable. So that's the minimum specs that you will need to not have unplayable frame rates. Now, for the recommended specs, it's Intel Core i7 6700K, AMD Ryzen 7 1700 or equivalent, 32 gigabytes of RAM, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 or AMD RX Vega 56 or equivalent, DirectX 11 and 55 gigabytes of storage space again. As you can imagine, 32 gigabytes of RAM is rather steep RAM requirements. Most games set the recommended RAM at 8 gigabytes. Sometimes you'll see it go up to 12 or 16. 16 is rather steep considered in a lot of ways. 32 gigabytes is actually mental. So I guess this is a game that I'm going to get on console. Now, this happened on Twitter where people confused the RAM with the storage space. The recommended storage space is 55 gigabytes, which is relatively reasonable for a AAA game title in 2019. We're on about the RAM, the random access memory. If you don't know what that is, I implore you look it up, because otherwise I'm just speaking an alien language to you. Now, what I'm wondering is, why on earth do EA think that Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will require 32 gigabytes of RAM for a smooth experience on PC when it's coming out on console and a PS4 Pro, for example, only has 8 gigabytes of RAM. What I'm saying is that recommended 32 gigabytes of RAM actually sounds like it could have been a mistake. It shouldn't have been published. And that is reinforced by the fact that after the outcry, it suddenly changed down to 16 gigabytes. Now we know that you cannot lower the recommended specifications on a whim. If that's the benchmark, that's the benchmark, that's how the game runs. They're not going to overnight somehow make the game magically work just as well on half the RAM. 16 gigabytes is still rather steep when you think about it, but it's a bit more reasonable than the outrageous 32 gigabytes which was proposed beforehand, which might have been published in error because of the reason that I just stated. Or at least I'm hopeful that it is because I don't believe we're in an age yet where games require that much RAM to run because the consoles that these games are coming out on as well don't have anywhere near that much RAM anyway. And I doubt all the graphical benefits of PC gaming is really going to make much difference there. So I'm of the firm belief that the 32 gigabytes of RAM recommended requirement was actually posted in error and it was intended to say 16 all along but it was obviously an error that they didn't go back over and go, hang on a minute, we've put 32 in here as opposed to 16. Now, honestly, as far as EA mistakes go, this is quite a tame one, so I'm not surprised at all if this is the case. But I don't see any reason at all why Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order should require 32 gigabytes of RAM or anything close to that. If you have 16, I reckon it will run fine on PC, but I'm going to use this as an excuse to get it on console anyway because I absolutely despise Origin origin because it's just unusable. The rest of the specification requirements seem relatively reasonable considering anyway, so I'd imagine that that RAM thing is just a mistake. So the recommended RAM requirements are actually 16 gigabytes by the looks of it as opposed to 32 as initially posted as that is what they've changed it to. I would like to find out the official reason as to why 32 gigabytes of RAM was initially posted and then why they bumped it down to 16. My money's on it being a mistake but I would like to see EA actually address it and put our minds at rest because seeing that on that recommended is actually kind of concerning. And I think PC players deserve to know that they don't actually need ridiculously unnecessary amounts of RAM for a gaming machine just to play this one game. I'm fortunate I have the luxury of just getting the game on console and avoiding all of this unnecessary bullshit, but you know, it happens a lot in PC gaming. Not necessarily this, but unnecessary bullshit. I don't think this is much to worry about, 16GB should be more than enough, but accidentally putting 32GB as the recommended is an unusual mistake to make so i am curious as to what the reason is 
and I feel like EA do owe PC players that at least. If you think it's an unreasonable outcry on the other hand though, you've got to remember that PC players are used to being thrown under the bus by big development companies and publishers alike. In reality, it's not actually that much of an overreaction. As people make it out, it's more of a well-justified concern. And the best thing for EA to do, or respawn or somebody, is to put it to bed. Anyways, I guess that concludes this ramble in this video, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with all your friends and all that wonderful stuff, I'd really appreciate it. And if you wish to support the channel further and get extra content, maybe consider becoming a patron. That's completely up to you though. I think it's a good bargain, but if you don't, then that's perfectly fine. Anyways, I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.